things you require macintoshi green cloth lecron carver metal scale wax block gloves and polishing cloth take a wax block mark the central line on all four sides of the wax block join those lines on the upper and lower surface of the wax block mark 9.5 mm square on all sides of the block to form the crown mark 14 mm square on all sides of the block to form the root rest wax block represents the base for the carving then mark the sides d for distal li for lingual m for mesial and l for labial mark 4 mm on cervical line of labial and lingual sides mark 5.5 mm on incisal edge of labial and lingual sides join those points so that it looks like a trapezoid draw two parallel lines on either side of central line on upper surface here the wider opening faces the incisal edge and smaller opening faces the cervical region and start removing the wax from either sides of the trapezoid make a note that even though trapezoidal form is drawn on labial and lingual sides wax must be removed only on mesial and the distal sides so that trapezoidal form can be gained mark 5.8 mm on cervical line on mesial and distal sides mark the curvatures as shown in the diagram labial surface must have convex feature whereas lingual surface must have concave or convex feature where the convexity represents a cingulum and concavity represents the lingual fossa start removing the wax from the labial side keep the bulge on the cervical third area remove the wax from lingual side keep bulge on the cervical third area crown is almost ready for making the root first mark two parallel lines on mesial and distal side draw a horizontal line 
one mm above the root line for marking the apex of the root. Remove excess wax on labial and lingual surfaces. Mark the root on labial and lingual sides. Remove excess wax on mesial and distal sides. Carefully start carving the tip of the root. Start marking the cervical line as shown in the diagram. Remove excess wax below the cervical line. Start making the lingual fossa as shown in the figure. Mark the developmental grooves on mesial and distal sides. Use polishing cloth to polish the tooth. As shown in the carving, mesioincisal angle should be sharp and right angled, whereas distoincisal angle should be slightly rounded, such that incisal edge slopes distally. The last step is Cut off the base, round and the root apex. This is the final look of the carving.